What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer and welcome to my channel. Today I want to ask you a question. Do you think that the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One upgrading their consoles is a big pain in the ass? Because some people do, including ex-Bioware boss. And uh, for me, I felt that way. I kind of still do feel that way, but I'm trying to roll with the punches. I feel like the PS4.5 or the PS4K and the Xbox 1.2222, I don't know what they're going to call it. Are good ideas but I think that if they if they sell well and they do well it's going to negate the whole idea of what consoles are known for I've never been a PC gamer I bought myself a nice gaming laptop because I wanted something powerful enough to play the latest games and be able to edit and render videos with extreme power and I got that and so I don't it's, it's a laptop I don't have to ever update it or upgrade it and that's one of the things about being a PC gamer that I'm just not good at and something I would never really want to get heavily involved in and so that's one of the draws for me to being a console gamer I buy the console every game that comes out for that console works there's no graphical upgrades I need no extra RAM and it all makes sense the PS 4.5 and the Xbox 1.52222 I don't know what they're gonna call it kind of negates that whole idea and it brings a whole new PC air into the console space but I'll drop a link in the description Xbox One and PS4 upgrades are a gigantic pain in the ass, says ex-Bioware boss. If you're not keen on the idea of, of upgrading consoles, you're not alone, as Bioware's founder calls them complete lunacy. Although nothing official has yet been announced, both Microsoft and Sony are strongly rumored to be preparing new, more powerful versions of their home consoles. But it seems some developers aren't any keener on the idea than many gamers. Bioware co-founder Greg Keshek retired from the company a few years ago, which means he doesn't have to watch his words when he calls the whole idea a gigantic pain in the ass that flies in the face of the purpose of consoles. The whole purpose of consoles is the set of requirements that you work against from a hardware perspective, he told GameSpot. Quote, to change that is complete lunacy. It's almost like Microsoft may feel that Sony got overpowered versus them at the start and maybe wants to kind of catch up. And Sony's like, well, if you want to do that, we'll play this game. End quote. That's how many gamers already see things, and it's interesting to see that Keshek is on the same page, even if he has no influence at Bioware anymore. Quote, It's like dipping your toe back into the PC pool, where you have to consider all these things. It was nice on console not having to consider performance sliders, but it's just crazy. I guess Microsoft and Sony feel the need to. End quote. So, Mr. Keshek, who was one of the founders of Bioware, who is definitely uh, one of the founders of greatness, so I, I respect what this guy's doing, he, he's telling the truth, man. I mean, as much as I'm, I'm in on the PS4.5, I want a better VR experience. I want uh, the possibility of streaming in 4K. I want to see how close they can get games to a native 4K. I'm interested in the tech, but I'm also against the idea of turning consoles into like PCs. I don't like the upgradability aspect. Who remembers how terribly the Sega CD and 32X ended up? It was just a terrible idea to add all these extra parts and hardware to a console. It, it's the antithesis of what consoles are supposed to be. You guys let me know in the comments below if you agree with Mr. Keshek and uh, this whole thing is a pain in the ass or are you 100% in on this PS4.5 and Xbox 1.522222. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for my channel, share it on social media, all that jazz, and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time. Take our bodies higher than high